Shout out to folks, we in the Hobo Depot, and today we're looking at a, a what is it? A, what kind of base is this? Glazier or something. Did I say it right? Glazier? I don't know. Let's look at the info. It, it came with a letter, a certified letter. <laughs> certified. That's funny, certified. This is a glary. Okay. All right. It started as being a glary base. The wood of the base remains. I started by thinning the neck. I did my best at dressing, leveling, shaping the frets. I did zero work on the nut. The back of the base was finished in tungle. The headstock was mini wax, polyurethane, front and back. The decals, uh, just me having fun. <laughs> I like it. Let's look at it. He says the decals are just him having fun. Oh, good job, bro. Good fun. All right, so let's keep on the letter. I totally stripped the body down to bare wood. I feel the infections, imperfections, allow three coats of primer, three coats of duplicolor. This is a can, y'all. This brother did a can. This is nice, though. This is a can. Uh, you can see some imperfections, but it's still a nice can. All right, I'm, I'm you know. Uh, then three coats of duple color followed by two coats of clear sand it pro uh, progressively and 3,000 grit sandpaper buffed out two grades a rubber compound and finish and buffing compound and pit guard out using a scroll saw. Oh man, he's good. He's a scroll saw to cut the pit guard out. Really? That's cool. That's cool. Place the bridge with the fender hot mass bridge. We can see that. Uh, he has a fender custom shop 60 jazz pickups in it. I assemble wire control panel myself using the Emerson uh, Customs Kit as a guide. Both pickup um, cavities and wiring bay is totally shielded with uh, copper tape and ground wire connecting it. Man, this guy has did a great job. Now, what I'm looking at is I'm hoping that... Look how high the neck is. Look how high the strings off the neck. What I'm hoping is um, that uh, we can get some turns on the... Um, on the uh, truss rod. And what else he says? He said he has not done this before. Are you kidding me? Man, you did good. Using the YouTube as an instructor. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Using YouTube. So he wants a good setup and low action. The strings are new. Dunlops. I uh, want 45, 105s. Uh, he got shims under the neck. I'm sure I, mi I missed something. You can contact me after that. All right, so. All right, so. Let's put the letter over here because this is really good. I mean, he typed the letter out of everything. You know, most people just write stuff. I, I write stuff because I'm old school. But, man, look. He did a great job with his paint, man. You know, I'm going to buff it a little bit more so he can get a little bit more pop out of it. Um, just for him sending it to me, man. This is great. Um. I haven't heard how it sounds, but I know that it's very high. All right, so one thing, to, you know, we have to look at when we buy these massive bridges is that um, the saddles are very tall, very thick. Try to get saddles that's, that's a little low and a little thin because the thicker your your saddles are, the higher your string is going to be. Right now, he's got his saddles all the way down, and look how high the strings are. You know, we're talking high. All right, so, but he did a great job. Uh, I feel a little bit on the, on the corners. Not much, but he did a good job. Um, nut. Good job on the nut. A lot of times we can work on the nut and lower strings down too. All right, so he actually did a good job on this base. He actually really did a good job on this base. Um, the neck is a little bit needs a little help so we're gonna put a little buff on it oh look at this license by glary incorporated mods by all right mr reese y'all might be I might be looking at another painter here y'all another painter the boy did good on this really really good it's some flaws but he you know he's got nicks here nicks there nick there and you have some rough edges here but as far as a paint, he did really well. 
Nick here. I mean, roughly is here. But he did. Oh, man. Um, he had some issues right here. I can see. Um, with his. Um, when he was trying to bring that neck down. But as far as the concept of this whole thing, he did really well. So now it's in, it's in the Hobo Depot. Let's make it better. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right, baby. Okay, here we go. Oh. Did I say anything about that? Ooh, that's not good. That's a crack. But he did this with a saw, man. This guy's amazing. Really good work. Now I just need to hear it. So let's just plug it in. And my super amp. This is my super amp that I keep on top of the, um, on, in the shop, on top of the desk. It does super jobs. In other words, your bass don't play, it don't play. <laughs> Uh oh, that ain't good right there. Hear that? That ain't good. 